Hello everyone and welcome to t day nine of TA's gift ideas. Today we're going to be doing brunch with your bestie gifts for the brunch lover, the breakfast lover, and some other things that you can do with some of these products. With me I have Chef Anna as always. She'll be walking us through some sous vide stuff, some waffle stuff, some deliciousness. So tune in, join the chat and get interactive with us. Ask us your questions. It can either be about the products, about what she's going to be cooking up for us. Um, we have lots of offers going on today, lots of sales on these products. We also have our Boxing Week sale going on now. When you spend over $500, you'll receive a $25 e-card to our tagourmet.ca website with special product there. Also perfect gifts for you that are in stock and ready to ship to your home. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. Awesome. And hello, Andrew from Barry. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so today we are going to be making Eggs Benedict with some waffles <laughs> instead of your traditional English muffins. And instead of doing all the hard work over the stove, the jewel uh, circulator is going to take all the work of the hollandaise for me and the eggs. Okay. All right. So... Now the thing about doing this is that it has to be, it's pretty time specific for the eggs specifically. A lot of things that you do with sous vide, uh, you can just leave for a long period of time, which is really useful if you're busy and you've got a lot of stuff going on and it won't uh, go above the temperature. So I have a hollandaise going in here and now I need to add my eggs. And to do that, I'm gonna use a spoon because I don't want them to hit the bottom of the pot and crack. So you can put this, the water in a, a pot, like yeah, container or... Yeah, you can or... buy specific containers for it, but if you've got a large stock pot, that will work okay. just as well. And so this is the, the Jewel Immersion Circulator. Yes. And it connects to an app on your phone to do the temperature, to the time, the cooking. That's right. So just to show you how it works... This app has a lot of different recipes on it, which is really great. I start my jewel. I want it at 75 degrees Celsius. And it's already starting to go. Then I'm going to set my timer because I just put my eggs in. They're going in for 14 minutes. So it times it out for you right there. Mm -hmm. So it's just coming up to temperature for me. And then it's going to allow me to start. So we've got 14 minutes to make our waffles. Okay. So what kind of waffles are we making today? So today... That looks a little different, Anna. <laughs> Excuse is me. Is that supposed to be that color? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a buckwheat waffle. Okay. And that's why it has this lovely brown color to it. Okay. Um, I really like working with alternative flours like buckwheat. It's really full of protein. It's really good for you. It's actually um, a quasi-seed, kind of like quinoa. I'm going to start this. Almost. Okay. So once it hits 75, then... Yeah, once it hits 75, then I'll be able to start my timer. All right, so we're making buckwheat waffles. Mm -hmm. All um, right. The Breville Two Slice Waffle Maker. I love this waffle maker. I never thought it was possible to love a waffle maker. <laughs> until <laughs> so much? I got to, yeah, until I got to use All this right. one. Um, so it just, just beeped at you. Yes, oh, so there's different settings it. here. So you have the Belgian mm -hmm. Classic Chocolate. Yeah. Buttermilk and custom. Is yeah. this a custom creation? It is a custom creation. Okay. Um, but it is based on buttermilk. So. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It also comes with this van very handy scoop so to measure out. So one cup is for two slices. Oh, perfect. Half a cup is for one slice. So you don't even have to think about it. That's it right. It does the thinking for you. Right. All right. I'm being put to work yet again. <laughs> perfect. All right. So I'm filling that up. For two. For two. Brunch for two. All right. Here we go go look at that mm. so just choose your favorite waffle uh recipe for this and but my tip for that is that if you are going to use waffles for your eggs benedict take out the sugar in the recipe okay because most waffles have a bit of sugar in them if you're making a you doing it for something savory like even a sandwich uh make sure that you take out the sugar all right now i'm just pouring it in yes evenly distribute please evenly oh gosh <laughs> Susan says her kids love uh, the waffles with this waffle, waffle maker. Oh, already has it. Amy loves waffles and Sarah loves buckwheat. So you're pleasing everybody. Perfect. 
There we go. That doesn't always happen, so that's great. <laughs> well, there we go. Is that pretty even? That looks great. Oh, okay. So this waffle iron heats really evenly. Um, you get really nice, crunchy exterior with that fluffy interior. So there has like a little, almost like a little moat kind of thing it going on. It is a like moat. A <laughs> it is a no mess moat. And so if you happen to overfill, which I've been guilty of doing in the past, uh, instead of getting all over your counter, all over the back wires, it's just going to form here and cook and you get a little extra snack. Oh, we should probably show that. <laughs> Let's I don't do open it. it. <laughs> it's fine, Anna. Let's see all what right. happens. Okay. Look at We're just going to do this. Watch what happens. <laughs> Thanks, John. This is like a science experiment. Yeah, why not? And is, will it cook there or did I, it, I no, did it No, it'll wrong? cook there. It just might take a bit longer. That's fine. But I will Patience, cook. Anna. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> so let's That's see good. how our eggs are doing. Well, you always see those like little waffle like fingers. Are they doing that like the bacon wrapped ones? Yeah. So this would be perfect you if you want like a little waffle fingers here. Yeah. Maybe you can put some bacon in it. Says, this is, uh, that is smart. I hate the mess mine makes. This is good. Because yeah. then you can just, we'll, we'll show you how to scoop it up and clean it up. But we got to get messy. That was too clean <laughs> of a pour, Anna. But it did. Like, that was perfect. With that scoop, though, we lined it up. Yeah. Right? Two waffles for two. Poured evenly, and it was perfect. Mm -hmm. It was the perfect amount. Amy says waffle fries made in the moat. Yes. yes. Dip them in your maple syrup. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm, lots so of syrup. Good. All right. So we're here. You have the yeah, app. Gonna jump back over to the Breville jewel. So it's at 75. Okay. Celsius. Can you see it? Celsius. Okay. Time remaining. Perfect. Now, was the recipe on for this hollandaise sauce on here? Because they have a bunch of recipes, or is this... They do have a bunch of recipes. The hollandaise sauce is not on here, okay. but you can just Google any sous vide recipe you like, and it will work. They all work the same way in terms of temperature and water circulation. Uh, so you can really experiment with your own recipes. And there's lots of different ways to put your food in the water, which is a weird way to say that. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> Uh, so before, like in restaurants, it's called sous vide, which means under pressure. And that doesn't actually refer to the machine. It refers to the food. So in restaurants, they're using vacuum sealers, which is pulling all the air out of the food itself. Whereas at home, typically you can't get a vacuum sealer for your house. So they're just removing the air out and sealing the edge. So because of that, you can just use a plastic bag. You don't need to get a just fancy. A Ziploc bag. Yeah, you can just use a Ziploc bag. You don't have to get fancy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, Lee is asking if the app is free. The app yeah. is free. Yes. So you guys can check it out before they buy it. Right? Exactly. You can see what the app has in store. What is the app called? We, Jewel. The Jewel. J O U L E. J O. Right? Yes. Okay, we're going to cover this other sous vide <laughs> app I have. <laughs> so, Jewel, I have the Jewel oven. Okay. Open it up. Can we go back to showing them yeah. again? So, if you go home, okay, you can see it. Lots of great, there's all the different things that you can cook, sous vide style, quick and easy, cook in a jar, no bag required, all the guides, so many different things here, okay, there's basic, what's quick and easy, here's some recipes for you. Ooh, poached prawns, let's see what that's all about, okay, Breville's apps are so easy to use, easy to follow. Tells and you they have really things. beautiful videos and imagery to really show you yeah, exactly the different steps. What you need to do. Perfect. Okay. And Amy, you had a question about uh, oh, oh, our waffles. Our waffles. I want them to go a little bit more. A little more. A little bit All more. right. Breville has this very fancy little bit more button. A, literally says yeah. a bit more. A bit more. Uh, so back to your question time. here. The hollandaise takes 30 minutes. The eggs take about 14 minutes. So I put the hollandaise in for 16 minutes, put my eggs in. So they should all be done at the same time. A lot of hollandaise recipes I saw called for a lower temperature for an hour or longer. Um, but I want everything to cook at the same temperature. So I was able to find a recipe that would accommodate both. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, because there's also a lot of waste, um, or there can be a lot of waste with sous vide, there's a lot of plastic bags. You can buy um, 
kits that have air removal with reusable bags to use in the circulator, or you can use a jar. There you go. You can use Up a to jar. you. Whatever you have available to you. And we do have this. You do sell that, right? Yes. So that, if you need one, when you're buying this today, you can do that. You can check out our product images, our product page, the four squares. If you're watching your phone, you can tap that, open it up, see the list of products that we're featuring today. And you can just click yet. that, check out to cart right now. And it could be yours for pickup or delivery, whatever you choose to do. But if you come see us in store, maybe you'll get a sample of this. You're fast enough. All right, how are we doing? It needs a little bit more time. Okay. So I'm going to put it in for that long. Okay. And then we'll and see. And as you can see, our, our moat waffle moat right here is, is cooking. See? I wonder if we can pick it up yet. Woo! Oh, almost. No. Nope. Not quite ready. The buckwheat does make it a little bit more tender because it doesn't have the gluten content, which would create that strength. Mm -hmm. But you can see here when... Anna's peeling it away. It's just coming off. It's, it's non-stick. Non-stick. So that's easy. Easy cleanup. Do you want a piece of waffle moat? I'm going to try the waffle moat. <laughs> right. I mean, the color is interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, tastes like waffle, though. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit earthier. Mm-hmm. Which is why I chose buckwheat for this recipe. Because I love buckwheat with... Um, savory things like ham and cheese, like ham and Swiss, that classic French yeah. um, galette. Like, buckwheat. I need eight pounds of maple syrup, but it's fine. Yeah, there's no sugar. No, in that's that. good though. Yeah, it yeah. also goes really well with chocolate. Like, buckwheat brownies are really good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll have to make those another time. Yeah. It's a fun thing to experiment with. <laughs> so All right, let's how are we doing? We're doing here. So, we've got four, four minutes left on that. So what else can we make in a waffle maker? Ooh, so fun. love this question. Tell us, Anna. Well, Breville has a wonderful recipe book that comes along uh, with this product. And I was going through it the other day. And one of the things it had was potato roasty. So shredded potatoes mm. in the waffle maker, nice and crispy. You can make really fun sandwiches. If you took bread, layered in your ham, your cheese or turkey, your mayonnaise, put it in the waffle maker. I've heard of people doing cinnamon buns. Ooh. Putting those out and making a cinnamon uh, bun waffle. You can do that. You can get creative. Yeah. Right? There's no wrong answer of what you can do in this waffle maker. Absolutely not. Um, Gracie is, does the lid on the jar need to be loose to avoid pressure inside? It needs to be finger tight. So if you've ever done canning, when you do your, um, your water bath, the jars go in finger tight uh, so the jars don't explode. So you do need to be conscious of the pressure when you're using a jar in a, in a sous vide. That's a very good question. That's right. And if you're doing other sous vide things too, like things that may take, you know, a couple hours or whatever, you can just turn it on the app. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It is crispy. It's not flimsy. Beautiful deep syrup pockets mm, for mm. all the syrup. But with sous vide, with things that are taking, you know, a few hours or even longer, you can just set it on your app and just kind of go and be on with your day. Oh, That's yeah. Nice you don't have to about stay it. at home. You don't have to <laughs> stay and watch it. Is it going to boil over or not? Like, it's, it's pretty safe. Oh, Andrew said, what does finger tight mean? Ooh, I will show you when I take out. I mean, it's a difficult thing to show. It's something that you just have to feel. Um, but it means, like, if you tighten it with just your fingertips, you can undo it with just your fingertips. You don't have to grab the top of the jar and use, like, your whole hand. So you don't need someone with strong arms to no. come and rescue you. That's to open, right. Okay. Or just bash it on the floor a few times. <laughs> that that old trick. break the whole thing on the floor. Yeah, that old trick. <laughs> No problem, Andrew. If anyone has, has any more questions about what Anna's making or about the products, feel free to put them in the chat. And if you're making these for a crowd, you can uh, keep the waffles hot and crispy in your oven at 200 
while you wait for everything else to finish. That's awesome. Uh, yep. And I would also suggest that you put it on a cookie sheet or something like that to make sure you still have airflow around it because anywhere this hot item is going to touch something flat, it's going to create condensation and that oh. gives you a flimsy, soggy waffle. So those are necessary to have in your kitchen. Yes. Gotcha. More for than just cookies. Yeah. Can you remove the waffle plates? No, you cannot remove the waffle plates, but they are very easy to clean. Mm -hmm. I haven't, like, I've been using this uh, for a while now, and I have never had an issue with anything mm -hmm. really sticking. And back to, like, if you're serving for a bunch of people, we do have a four-slice uh, option. So you can also purchase that, if or if you just, you know, love yourself, like, love to eat a lot of waffles, and two's not enough, then four is for you. All right, so how much do we have? 35 seconds left yes. on the app. It's telling us. Now you could also do these ahead and take them out, shock them in an ice bath, keep them in your fridge, and then reheat them at a lower temperature for about 10 minutes. That is also one of the beauties of sous vide. Whoops. I'm gonna move your phone out of the way here. Thank you. Now it looks all curdly and not like it should, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it. Oh, timer's going off. And now I can, I can just press stop jewel. Right there. Stop. Okay. There we go. And it stops. This pot does get hot, so you do want to make sure that you have it on something that is heat safe. And we should just point out that, um, oh, we don't have the clamp there. Oh, no, I don't have, it comes okay. with a clamp, but you can also buy a larger clamp if you have something thick that you Yes, do, so also in our product around. list there, we do have the another clamp, the larger one that Anna was just speaking of that is sold separately, but the one you see there does come with it. So many different ways you can make it. So many different ways. Okay, that wasn't super appetizing, but it gets better. <laughs> I promise. And because we've cooked it at such a, high, such a high temperature, we've actually pasteurized these eggs. So if you're making hollandaise for someone that's a little bit wary of um, undercooked eggs, uh, this is a hollandaise for them. Ooh. There we go. That looks like it's going to seal like pretty nice. <laughs> That's not too loud. No, it's very quiet. That's quiet. You can still probably hear us. <laughs> Some other things that we do, you can, can't really hear us that well. There you go. What we're doing is we're creating, we're emulsifying everything in there. What setting do you have it on? Oh, okay. I'm just slowly going up. We do it's have right these there. products in stock. You can purchase online or come visit us in one of our six locations to purchase them. We do have some deals going on now, so you can check it out. You cl can click on our product links in our show and it'll take you right to that product and you can check out, you can get delivery, pick up, or come visit us in store. Barry, Brantford, Toronto, Mississauga, and we're here in Kitchener for two locations. So come see us, one of our salespeople will help you out. They'll love to see you. And again, if you come today, maybe you'll get to have a little bit of a feast and test it out. All right. So you can put whatever Ooh. you want on top. I'm just putting a little bit of greenery. He says all the Breville products are so good. I want them all. Yes, we do too. Oh, look at that. Have you ever cracked a poached egg out of a shell? I have not. <laughs> Very gently shimmied over here. A little shimmy shimmy. We also have our Boxing Week sale going on now. So when you spend $500 or more, you receive a $25 e-card to our tagourmet.ca website where you can get specialty products. So you'll want to check out that website because we sell different things on there. 
มะอูอ้าวอ u n getting a waffle maker on Christmas morning. Like I would just be like, all right, see, I'm going upstairs to make some stuff in the kitchen with your cranberry mimosa. Ooh, it's like Anna knows me. Here you go, Jenna. Perfect. Am I gonna try this? Okay, great. Where's <laughs> Daddy? This probably won't be pretty. Emma says, "I had no idea you could punch an egg in the shell." Mm-hmm. With a circulator. All right. It says the sauce looks so smooth. It, it does. Very smooth. Sorry, I have a little bit of egg there. Need some salt. Some salt. All right. Here we go. Hmm. How was it? I was delicious. How's the yolk? Did you I didn't break get there the yet. Yolk yet? No, I didn't. But I, the waffle. I mean, I was a little skeptical at first because it was a weird color, but <laughs> I was good. And it tastes like just health. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like health. <laughs> That's really yummy. Good job, Anna. Thanks. I didn't have as much batter for this one, so it's a little bit sad, but that's okay. How's our... Oh, we already ate our moat, moat waffle. I forgot. <laughs> we did eat the moat waffle. It's like the moat waffle is equivalent to like, you know, the, the french fries at the bottom of the bag. Mm. Like, yeah. you know, the bag fries. The fries. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Fantastic. Um, were you going to show the air finger, finger tight? Did you show that? Oh, yeah. Let me show that. Yeah. I think that was for Andrew. All right, so you have your lid, your jar. I'm just tightening it just slightly like that, just using the tension of my fingertips. That's it. And then I can also undo it with the tension of my fingertips. So that's finger tight. So again, we're not taking it. We're not bashing no, I'm it. I'm not on. doing it like that because I do want there to be a little bit of space for... So to show, you don't have to go to the ground bashing it. <laughs> I don't have to call in like some big guns in mm. to do it. See, nope. I can do it. I'm the worst at opening jars, but this is just finger tight. Yeah. Perfect. Same. So it's the same thing when you're, if you're canning foods, you're... Um, when you go to put it in the water bath, finger tight. And then once it's cooled, then you tighten all your jars. Excellent. Is there anything else we want to say about the blooster um, or the waffle maker? So we do have two slice and four slice available. And single slice. Oh, single slice. I just thought, well, and it's wants round. a single? We, we want like a big one. It's the classic Belgian. Well, I think waffle. the viewers want two or more. <laughs> Let's be honest. You can't just have one waffle. No, are you making waffles Just one lonely one? one? That's... That looks lonely. <laughs> you need more. And so, yeah, everything's in stock. Mm -hmm. You can buy online. You can buy right now. Come visit us in store. One of our six locations. And I think that's about it. Yeah. If there's no nothing else going on in the chat. Oh, tomorrow, Anna. Tomorrow. What's day 10? Day 10. So we're almost done. And we're doing the meat slicer. Yeah, I'm going to show you some fun decor. And decor also, with a meat slicer. Does that sound slicer. right to you? It's more than just for meat. <laughs> We're going to find out. I'm curious about this one. I don't know what's going on, but we'll find out tomorrow. So make sure you tune in tomorrow at 12 because we're using a meat sauce slicer for decor. Yeah. Meat slicer for decor. Anyways, <laughs> make sure you follow us on all of our socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok, some fun stuff going on there. YouTube for all the info and stuff on products that you need and have burning questions for. Um, you'll see us here again tomorrow, 12 p.m. Yes. Tune in on Facebook Live or our website. And that's that. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow.